being a parent can be one of the happiest, most fulfilling things in this life, but it can also be one of the most challenging, difficult things to experience in this life. Today, we're gonna to talk about some principles or laws that if you understand, can help your experience of a parent be more what you're hoping it will be. So ha has your life experience up to this point been exactly what you thought it was going to be? Well, if you're like most people, probably not. Now, if you're a parent, has your experience of being a parent been exactly what you thought that it would be? The truth is in life, every time there are things that we want to do with our life, it's because we have a belief about what that behavior, what that action, what that decision will bring to us. And I believe that everything that we do in life, we do because we believe it's going to make us happy or it's going to help us feel better. So why would a person want to be a parent? And oftentimes we don't even consciously think about that decision. We maybe just grew up in a family with parents and siblings, and we have a belief that that's what you do in this life, that, that you grow up and when you get to a certain age, then you find somebody and you marry that person and then together you have children and you raise those children together. And maybe you never even consciously thought about why you want to do those things. That's just the way life is. That's just the way you live life. Well, maybe that's what your life is, experience has been, but other people may have different experiences and choose to live their life differently. And that would be because of their life experiences and then the beliefs that they create as a result of that. So what happens in life when life does not turn out to be like we expect it to be. Oftentimes that results in disappointment or sorrow, hurt, anger. And when life isn't the way that we think that it's supposed to be, then sometimes we get discouraged, we can become hopeless, or we spend a lot of time trying to control things that we can't control. I wanna just share with you my experience of becoming a parent. I grew up in a family with nine children and I was the oldest of those nine. I was around younger kids my whole life. I saw my mom multiple times become pregnant, go to the hospital and come home with a baby. I never was at the hospital. I don't know what that experience was like. I saw things on TV about what it was like for uh, women to have children. I had things that I had read and I had beliefs in my head about what that experience would be like. Well, when Tony and I got married and she became pregnant uh, with our first child, the first thing that, that I noticed for me that was different than what I noticed with my mom is that we made several trips to the hospital before Tony actually delivered the baby. So, so we made several trips where we thought she was going to have the baby and deliver, but she didn't. So that was the first thing in my mind, I'm going, ah, oh, this isn't the way that it's supposed to be when your wife is pregnant and when you're going to have a baby because that's not what my mom did. Well, when the delivery date finally arrived, we went to the hospital and I had this expectation about what that experience would be like, even though I didn't know for sure what it would be like. I still thought that I knew. And so we went into the delivery room and the delivery room was was kind of dark. They had Tony on the bed with, with her legs up and she was having contractions and so she was uncomfortable and in pain. The nurse was there at first and then as she got closer to deliver, the doctor came in and as the contractions increased and she began to push for the baby to come out, the baby didn't wanna come out. I remember thinking, huh, it's not supposed to be uh, this hard. And Tony pushed through several contractions and, and still no baby. And so then um, one of the doctors started uh, pushing on Tony's stomach to try to help push the baby out and that didn't work. And so then the doctor said, okay, get the forceps. And all I, in my, life I had heard kind of horror stories about the use of forceps 
So I was like, no, not the forceps. And they were like, no, it's, it'll be okay. And uh, so the one doctor used the forceps and had them in and was pulling on the baby. And there was another doctor pushing on Tony's stomach and Tony was in a lot of pain. And I'm standing to the side, just kind of watching all of this, feeling helpless and thinking in my mind, this is not what I expected. This is not what it's supposed to be. As I remember watching the doctor pull what looked like pull really hard with those forceps. In my mind, I'm thinking, man, he's gonna hurt hurt our baby by pulling so hard on the head. And anyway, uh, the baby still didn't wanna come out. And so they, then they ended up having to, you know, cut Tony to make it larger so that the baby could come out. And that whole experience was pretty traumatic for me. Now, if we have a belief that says life is supposed to turn out the way that we expect it to turn out, then we're probably gonna be disappointed throughout our life. If we have a belief that having children and having a family is going to make our life happy, that's a false belief. If you look at some of our other videos where we talk about the, the foundational beliefs of principle-based living, one of those principles is the principle of choice and another is the principle of control. So happiness is a choice. And if I believe that happiness comes from external things like having children or having a family, then if my children and if that family turn out to be exactly the way that I think that they should be or maybe better than I think they should be, then I'm gonna be happy. But if it turns out to be different and in a way that I perceive as not as good or not the way that it should be, then the result of that is that I'm going to be unhappy. And I will think that I'm unhappy because of my children or because of, of my family. And so in an attempt to be happy, the logical thing is, well, I'm unhappy because you know my child is misbehaving or I'm unhappy because my wife isn't doing the things that, that I think that she should do. And so my focus and my energy is going to be on trying to change my child or trying to change my wife. But the truth is I have no control over those things. I only have control over me. But as I think that my happiness comes from them, what I'm actually doing is giving away my control. So think about this, as a parent, I may have lots of expectations about what a parent should be like and what children should be like. If those beliefs and expectations are not based on truth or principle, I'm gonna end up being disappointed and unhappy and feeling out of control, feeling like my life and my family is not the way that it's supposed to be. Well, what if I understand that I don't have control over anything outside of myself? So I don't really have any control over my wife. I don't have any control over my kids. With that understanding, I first of all may have made a decision not to get married. You know, or maybe a decision not to have kids. But if I understand that up front, then my whole approach to those experiences is going to be different. If I realize that I don't control others, I only control me, then I put the focus and the energy on changing myself when there are things in my life or in my circumstances that I don't like. So those three foundational principles are accountability, which says that each one of us are accountable for our own life, not for anyone else's. Now, as a parent, I'm responsible for my child, especially when they're young, to teach them, to educate them, to keep them safe. But as my child grows older, the ultimate goal is for my child to become independent and to go and, and live their life on their own. Ultimately, I'm accountable for me, but then what does that mean about my child? who ultimately is accountable for their life. They are. And that's important to understand because one of the other principles is choice. And that says that in any circumstance or situation, we get to choose what we will think, what we feel, so what our emotions are, and what we will do. So as a parent, can I make my child do anything? If you really think about it, the answer to that is no, other than what you are physically able to make them do. So when they're younger, there are more things that we can physically make them do, but as they get older, there are fewer and fewer things that you could physically force your child to do. Ultimately, 
we all have our own choice. And then the third principle is control. And we only have control over those same things that we can choose. We have control over our conscious thoughts. We have control over our emotions and we can have control over our behaviors. So I really don't have control over any of my children. So if I believe that my success as a parent is based upon my child growing up and doing and being exactly like I want them to be, what I'm doing with that belief is I'm giving away my control and I'm setting myself up to be unhappy if my child chooses to live their life differently than how I would choose for them. And the result of that is that oftentimes that relationship then is harmed or impacted in a negative way. And I lose where the real joy and fulfillment in families comes from, which is in those relationships with one another and learning how to love somebody that may be different than myself. And what that does is allow me to expand and to grow. If we look at this whole life experience and maybe look at our expectations about life and we understand that life is about learning, growing, and becoming. And as we do that in our life, the outcome of those things is happiness. So the goal needs to be, what can I learn in this situation or this experience? So what can I learn from being a parent? What is it that my children are gonna teach me? What can I learn from, from being married to another person and figuring out how to get along with somebody who maybe thinks differently than I do or has different preferences or different ways of doing different things? All of those things in life give us the opportunity to learn more about ourselves and to change ourselves and to become the person that we need to be in order to choose and achieve that happiness in any circumstance or any situation. So understanding that, not only will it help you in living your own life, but understanding those principles will make a huge difference in your expectations and how you approach your role as a parent as you are creating your family and your life. Thanks for watching today. If you would like more tips and helps in parenting, visit our website at principlebasedliving.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell so that you can get notifications of our uh, daily videos. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn, be sure and follow me here.